Okay, so now once we've got our doorway done, uh, we've got some materials in here and we've duplicated the corridor. I'm going to head over to Maya and we're going to create a door that fits into that doorway. Um, I could come in here and start creating the door straight away, um, but the problem is I don't know what size my doorway is. So if I go back here into Unreal and go into my side view, I can uh, select the brush that's making up my doorway, hold down middle click and then drag this ruler down to the bottom and I can see it's 240 height by 180 width so 240 by 180 so if I come into Maya now and just drag a box I can go into my attribute editor under the third tab I can go 180 by 240 and a depth of 10 and that is the size of my doorway I can then add in some detail to this um, I'll let you do that um, but before I export this out uh, there's a few things I have to consider first of all uh, the pivot here which is in the middle of my cube is basically um, in the wrong place for export now to Unreal. Unreal will take the pivot from the center of the scene. So we've got to make sure that we have our pivot lined up where we want it in our object and then uh, move our object to the center of the scene. To move your pivot in Maya, all you have to do is hold down D and then you can move that wherever you want. So for instance, if I was to bring this into Unreal now, um, I would find the pivot down here And then if I was to rotate this in Unreal, it would rotate like that, which is not the way a door works. So what we want to do is we want to first attach our pivot to one of these vertices in the bottom corner, because that's where a hinge of a door is, and then move our door to the center of the scene. Uh, to do that, I'm going to use my snap to point, hold down D, and just drag it down to that point. So now I've got my pivot down there, and then if it was Unreal, it would open like that. Next thing, I want to deselect snap to put our point and then turn on snap to grid. And I'm just going to move my mouse over to the center of the scene, which is where those two dark lines combine. Then all I have to do is go file, export selection. And I'm going to use an FBX export. Now, if that is not in there, you just want to go to Settings Preferences and Plugin Manager. And then here will be an FBX export uh, plugin, which has not loaded. Um, I'm just going to have a look here for it. It's down here. So the FBX Maya.mll. Make sure that it is loaded before you do this. So again, select your door, go File, Export Selection, and choose FBX Export. I'm just going to put this in the desktop, overwrite that one. Um, what you want to have selected in the uh, Geometry section is have Smoothing Group selected, uh, Reference Assets Content, and Triangulate. Uh, Unreal 4 will only take in triangulated polygons, and ensure Smooth Mesh is off, and then we export that out. In Unreal, um, you always want to make a folder for yourself in the content uh, browser. So I'm just going to create a new folder and I'll just call it Assets. And then in here, I would probably create another one and call it Static Meshes. And then I'll import my FBX file. I'll go door, open it up. Um, you can import materials and textures if you have them, so I'm just going to untick them because I haven't applied any to this. And import all. And then you'll find my door. So all I have to do is, in my perspective, just drag that in. And I'm just going to rotate it and move it into position. And that should fit pretty much uh, spot on with my doorway.